Hi, I'm Jennifer Bowen, and at our pain weekends, we've been talking about documentation of medical necessity uh, for drug testing. And that's a uh, controversial issue across the country right now because there's a natural tension between the federal and state laws and regulations relating to the prescribing of controlled medications to treat pain, clinical guidelines to the extent that they exist and, and incorporate drug testing and any kind of risk management or patient management uh, to involve characterization of patient uh, risk potentials and things like that, and then the overall role of drug testing. Then we have payer guidelines that are changing and, and payers across the country that are from, connected to federal health plans have issued local coverage determinations or draft local coverage determinations that are establishing what is medically reasonable and necessary for qualitative drug testing. The tension between these things are that they don't all line up and that can be a dangerous disconnect for a practitioner. Uh, we've talked about this at the pain weekend extensively, going into examples and baseline drug testing, uh, risk-related level drug testing in a randomized fashion, and targeted or aberrant behavior-related drug testing, and how to document those things and incorporate payer guidelines when dealing with federal beneficiaries. All of this uh, will be repeated in some way, shape, or form at pain week, and uh, we had a good, great discussion and lots of questions along these lines.